friends so today we are solving this problem rearranging fruits so you have two fruit basket containing n fruits each so the length of both of them is a uh, basket length is n only so we are given two zero index integer array basket one and basket two representing the cost of fruit in each basket you can visualize like this that this is basket one and this is basket two and these values are the cost of the fruits sitting at whatever index it is okay for example zeroth index fruit has cost one Similarly, in this uh, second basket, zeroth index uh, fruit has cost eight. So these are the costs of the ith fruit. Okay. Now let's see the question first. So uh, uh, you want to make both baskets equal. To do so, you can use the following operation as many times as you want. So choose two index i and j, and swap ith fruit of basket one to j fruit of basket two. So we can. Uh, do the swapping here. We can choose any values and we can make the swap because our target is to make both the uh, baskets equal. Okay, so this is what our target. Now there is one more operation. The cost of the swap operation is minimum of basket one i and basket two j. For example, let's say we want to uh, swap these guys, very first guy. Okay, then uh, the swap operation. If we do, for example, if we swap this eight by one. Then the operation cost would be one. Whoever is the minimum in that tuple, like in one and eight, one is minimum. So that would be the cost of that swapping. So now further read the question. So two baskets are considered equal if sorting them according to the fruit cost makes them exactly the same basket. Okay, means the frequency of every element in the basket one should be the equal to frequency of the every element in the basket two. That would be the same as after sorting, they would be looking same. So return the minimum cost. We have to return the minimum cost to make both basket equal. Otherwise, if it is not possible, return minus one. So this is what we have to do. So let's go for in this case. So here we can see here that if we choose this index and replace this one, okay, and replace this uh, eight by one, so this would become one. Similarly, we can do here also. This also would become one. And in this pair, if we replace eight by one. What would be the cost? Cost would be the minimum value. So that would be one from here, and similarly one from here, right? So total cost two, and these guys would become one and one, right? So answer would be two in this case. So this is what we have to do. So let's go in bit more detail for this, and for different scenarios as well. So for example, this is the simple case where we can check here that okay, if we replace this guy eight and eight with one, right? Then it would both of them would be become Equal, right? Because the frequencies are now now for every element is the same as B1 and B2, right? And what will the cost? We got cost uh, one operation and uh, another operation. Both of them took one and one because minimum was value one, right? So two would be the cost here. But wait a minute, we could have another scenario. Okay, so what that scenario would be? For example, let's say uh, this is so. Uh, yeah, let me do that. Yeah. So suppose this instead of one, this was four. Let's say this was four. Then what would be the answer? Should we go in the prior way? Okay, let's try. Suppose we are again doing the way which we did earlier. We will get four cost from here, and we will replace this eight by four. Similarly, this also, right? And what would be the cost here? Total cost would be four plus four, right? So this would be eight. But this might not be the best answer, right? So what we can do is. For example, let's say I choose this two from here and replace these fours, right? And similarly, I choose this two from here and replace these four. This is the legit one, right? In that case, what would be the answer? In that case, answer would be eight, right? Because this two would be replacing both of them one by one, right? This also a pair, and similarly, this two also replace. So it would be two into four. The cost would be eight here. And earlier the cost was also eight, right? When we were doing. So, if let's say, let's make is bit more uh, different. Suppose this is one and one, right? In that case, what would happen? So, uh, let's touch all the points here. Suppose this was one, and this also one. Now in this case, what would be the answer? The answer would be again same. See here, uh, we will replace these four and four by one. Right, so we can do it like this. Uh, we can do it like this uh, that we replace this four and this four, 
with the one right with this one because in another uh, basket b2 has one so we can replace them so we can write it here one we can write it here one and the cost so far would be two right because the minimum one would be the two cost now similarly for this eight and this eight also we can go ahead with this guy right this is one so we can associate with this replacement and also this replacement because we should have the index uh, of i and j should be from the both basket one and basket two so we can replace this guy also and uh, this would make now uh, this also one and one right so this would become one and this also would become one right so here also one operation so two, two and two so total cost would be four so what what i mean to say is we are looking for the minimum cost it's not only just like replacing finding a pair and replacing each other so we have to look for both these possibilities but before going to this we also need to observe few things so you guys can observe here that we are doing the swappings right but these swappings when it comes to the frequency of all of them those frequencies should be uh, even only because if the frequencies itself are odd i am saying the combined frequency of b1 and b2 for example here if you look at here what is the frequency of one the frequency of one is six six times right if we look at b1 and b2 similar the frequency of three is also uh, two right so the frequency of both these elements is even then only it is possible if any one of them has an odd frequency then the answer would be directly minus one because there would be no possibility of making them equal for example let's say i'm removing this one and i'm putting here seven right and let's say i'm putting here also uh, something else let's say i'm putting here three right now you can see here one has even uh, even uh, frequency one has total four but three has odd frequency and seven has odd frequency then we cannot divide them equally even by the any swapping operation or uh, it would be never become uh, equally in both of them right because they are not even numbers right so that also we need to check while we were doing uh, the operations right so whenever we found any number frequency equal to odd we have to directly return it equal to uh, minus one because this would never lead to a solution otherwise we would be uh, keep on doing these operations the swap operations and we'll look for the minimum okay so this is what we have to do now how we will be doing it first of all is we will make a map okay in this map we would be keep track of the frequencies how do we do that so let's say this is my map that would be key value map right it would be integer and uh, we can say it would be intended right because we are only looking for the frequencies so in this case what will happen in this map we would be looking for the key values so for example first of all what we will do is uh, here we will go in this way uh, so one came here two times right so frequency of one would be two right now seven came so uh, one time so frequency this would be one right right now we are not looking because we have to look for some of all of them right so uh, now three also came one time right so three also came one time now what we gonna do is we are done with the b1 now we are coming to b2 so in case of b2 we want to decrease the frequency right so those uh, so if we come here one and one they came two times this frequency would become zero here right so this frequency will become zero here we are coming here three three came two times so this frequency would become minus one this guy would become minus one here minus one and the seven is not appeared at all right so now this is this would be the condition of our map finally so see here one is fine because its frequency is still or uh, uh, even only zero is considered that even because that is why they are nullified to zero now seven is odd so we will directly return minus one in this case okay similarly if three also has minus one which is not divisible so here also in both case we will directly returning minus one as the solution so this would be the one case now let's take a better example for the positive case as well this time we are taking this example okay so four came how many times four came two times right in the b1 we are traversing first for b1 so in case of b1 we are increasing the frequency right then two came one time okay so let's make two came one time three also came one time so three also came one time we are done for the b1 
now we'll go for b2 in case of b2 we would be decreasing so 8 came two times right so nothing is happening right so anyway t here 2 so 2 came here one time so we will decrease this frequency so this frequency would become what this frequency would become now 0 so let me put it here 0 now we're coming here 3 so 3 exists already yes so 3 also came one time so this 3 frequency also would become 0 right so we will make this guy also 0 so 3 frequency now after doing this operation would be 0 8 frequency has 2 4 has 2 now we will see that what to do now so see here we will traverse through this map right so see all of them 4 has 2 which is uh, even 2 has 0 3 has 0 even 8 also has even so there is no possibility of uh, returning minus 1 right first of all the the frequencies are valid now we will look that how to solve now okay so how many operations do we have to do here if we look at the positive numbers see here this is 4 which came two times right so 4 came two times so how do we balance this right so it came two times means we have to do 2 divided by 1 2 divided by 2 means one operation what i mean to say here is suppose we have the four fruits here right let's say we have a fruit we have a fruit here so frequency is 2 right for 4 so suppose we have two frequency of cost 4 4 so this is also 4 this is also 4 and now let's say here we don't have any in the second array we don't have any right so if we bring one of them here right so this will come 4 and we will remove it from here so 4 is here and here also 4 so we did only how many operations we did whatever was the frequency divided by 2 so frequency was here 2 right so how many operation we need 2 divided by 2 if this, the frequency was 8 every time we have to divide by 2 then only they will become together same right so that is why I am doing this I hope you should be clear or we can take one more example okay so let's take one more example this is our uh, basket 1 and basket 2 so 4 came in very first we are looking for the b1 so 4 came 4 time so we will write here let me write it with different color so this would be 4 time right this came 4 time now 2 also 2 came 1 time okay so 2 came 1 time 3 came 1 time so we will write 3 came 1 time so we are done for the basket 1 right now we are coming to here 8 came 2 times so okay we will write 8 equal 8 came how many times 2 times so we are in we are doing it in mi minus way right so it came 8 it would be minus 2 times 2 came how many times so this is one time and we have to decrease it one so it would be 0 okay so 2 would become now 0 similarly 3 also would become 0 so 3 also would become 0 that means 3 and 2 both are already like equal now 4 came 2 times so we have to decrease it by 2 right so this would become 2 we are doing minus every time for the second okay so now this gives an indication here that we have to do here see here how many operations are required here so we have frequency equal to 2 right so divide by 2 whatever is the count let's say c and t we are calling it count so c and t divide by 2 that that many operations would be required to manage the 4 right so 2 divided by 2 so one operation would be required here okay now so you can see here in my code which would make a better sense to understand from here so see here first of all what we are doing we are creating this uh, uh, tree map why tree map why not simple map because we need to uh, we don't have to sort it again to get the minimum value or we don't have to sort it again right so now uh, that's why we are taking it now see here first of all in this part we are uh, increasing the frequency of every or uh, every element that is appearing in basket one and see in second map we are decreasing by one okay see here we are decreasing get or default if it is doesn't exist then we are putting zero minus one right so we are doing that part similarly we were doing here right so like four came initially or four times then these two four deducted it and eight came or uh, two times here in the second one so it is minus two so here you can observe that all those values which are positive that means those many times they are coming extra in the basket one and those who are negative that means that is coming that many times extra in the basket two and those who are zero that means they are equally in both of them 
okay so you can see here this 8 is minus 2 that means if we do the absolute difference of it uh, 2 times 8 came extra in the basket 2 but 4 is positive 2 that means 4 came 2 times more in the basket 1 okay so after doing that operations we have two variables here Res result is the one where we will park our final result and swaps is another uh, uh, variable so what we are doing is we are traversing through this map the one which we have finally done with the all effective frequencies after basket 1 and basket 2 so what we are doing here is we are getting the whatever is the count of it okay long count equal to nt dot get values we are taking the all counts now we are checking here that if it is not even then we are returning directly minus 1 otherwise what we are doing we are making the swaps equal to swaps plus math dot max of 0 or cnt divided by 2 see here what we are doing here is we are getting the count of all of them and then we are taking the minimum value so whatever swap we have found that swap is the sum for all the positive values and every index we are taking the absolute value maybe it could be positive as well as negative value why what does it mean to take this minimum so minimum at every index count we are taking because that many operations these many operations would be required to make it balanced right so we are taking the minimum value so, okay so this is this tag would be having the minimum value okay now what we are doing tag so whatever number of operations that would be the minimum value here in the tag so whatever number of operation tag into minimum of c c is the key or the whatever is the minimum value into 2 what does it mean the line number 23 so line number 23 we will explain in more details so you guys can observe here when we are coming at here at this locations we were supposed to uh, for example here this couple right if we want to replace this 4 this 8 by 4 this could be possible like 4 and 4 and the operation cost would be 4 here but here we have a minimum value also though so instead of doing this operation by 4 can't we do this so we will replace this 8 by 2 right so that would be a less costly value correct so we can replace this this guy by 2 and similarly this 4 also can be replaced by this 2 minimum right so this guy also can be 2 so what we are doing here effectively 2 into whatever is the minimum value 2 into whatever is the minimum value that is why we are taking either we can take the key the way which we are taking 4 earlier or we can take 2 into of the minimum value so that is why we are doing this thing now it would be clear so these many operations we can take number of operations into whoever is the minimum here we are because we are looking for the uh, the one which is the minimum producing values now we will make swap equal to swap minus tag because these many tag number of operations we have already done so we have to deduct it so uh, and then we will keep on uh, in the keep on uh, loop in this for loop we will keep on doing it finally our result would be having the values now you guys can observe one more thing is that if it is a if it is gonna a balanced answer then if there is a positive value there would be always an equal and opposite negative value also as well or all of them would be zero and if it is not going to lead an answer in that case one of them one or more has to be the uh, odd value so for that we are directly returning the negative value okay so uh, let me execute this code which i have already done right so thank you for watching this video and guys what is the time complexity here the time complexity would be n log n why because we are using this ordered map